mountain top removal mining is not allowed in the Rockies. It is not allowed in the Sierra Nevada. It is not allowed in the Adirondacks. And there is absolutely no reason that it should be allowed in the Appalachia. I know a lot of mountains that don't exist anymore for anyone to sing, go tell it on the mountain, because the mountain ain't there. It's gone. And when it's gone, it's gone forever. Uh, we're standing here together as one voice to send the message that w none of us will sit idly by and watch our country destroy, to watch our, our, our cherished Appalachia destroy, to watch the oldest uh, mountain range in our country destroyed. We will not stand idly by. else can I say but contaminate? This is the way we contaminate so early in the morning. This is the way we blow up the mountains to get the coal to power the houses. The way that we ruin the air and the water. Our children are drinking. Yes, this is the way we contaminate. What else can Mountaintop removal is a gamble on our lives, and let's stop it. In the deep, dark hills of eastern Kentucky, that's the place where I trace my bloodline and it's there I read on a hillside gravestone you will never leave Harlan alive and the mountains blown up they scoop out a seam of coal and they repeat that process to the next seam they do it over and over until all the coal is gone, and the, now the mountain's gone forever. After the blasting, the toxic fumes from the diesel fuel and the, the ammonia nitrate and silica from the sandstone rockets in the ground rains down upon our communities, and we're forced to breathe it. We'll never leave Harlan alive. Where the sun comes up. Up and down around me on Coal River, people have cancer. My neighbor works at a prep plant for Massey. He's got cancer. His wife washes his clothes. She's got cancer. Two little boys across the river from me on the hill above me, 12 and 14 years old. Last just uh, this past November, the 12 year old died from cancer. The 14 year old dying from cancer now. A 17 year old girl that went to Marsh Fork Elementary School, Priscilla Daniels, died of cancer. Waving hundreds. Bills. He said, I'll pay you for your minerals, but he never left Harlan alive. It's nothing but murder, and people know what's going on. Uh, the Obama administration said that he was going to use the best science available, the EPA said that, in order to make a determination on, uh, on mountaintop removal. Uh, well, the scientific studies are in, and they're saying that mountaintop removal needs to stop, and it should have stopped years ago. It should never got started. Enough. We can do better, and we're going to do better. And starting today, it's going to get even better yet, because the voice just keeps getting louder, because the truth knows no barriers. And we're here to speak nothing but the truth. This gathering today is just a small preview of Appalachia Rising. Coming together September 25th through the 27th, next week, 
thousands of people from across Appalachia are coming right here to Washington, D.C. to call for an end to mountaintop removal mining.